Hey everybody, Guy picked up another Microman, Microman Bio Machine. Uh, this time, however, I finally picked up a hero. I have to balance the forces here a little bit. As the previous uh, previews of Microman, I, as you may or may not know, I have three villains, so I thought it's time to get a hero. Um, and this one is uh, BM01, Micro Machine, I'm sorry, Machine Mirror. And uh, again, this is the hero. And his name is Exku. And he has a, as you can see here on the back, a, a vehicle that converts into a body part of a bio suit when three other figures, along with this one, the fourth, uh, combine together. And here's his biotech mode and his naked style. So I'm going to open. I'm going to open it up and going to take a look also at the DVD that is included. I'm sure it's just a big commercial, but I'll check it out and then uh, tinker around with it and then do a review. Okay, here we have him in naked style on top of his vehicle, which is uh, the Bio Machine Mirror. And uh, according to the stats that come with the DVD, it says that the Bio Machine Mirror, this that he is on, is uh, with micro C control IC system. It can fly at super high speeds. Okay, so it's really fast. And Exku is with his superior or super mobility, Exu is an ace soldier of Biomachine team. Due to programming errors on setting up personality, he is very tyrannical. Very tyrannical. Okay. So Trinity always has to supervise him. Interesting. So you kind of have that dark hero character, which I can see that with the red, the symbolic red uh, paint scheme that he comes with. So. Uh, he's tyrannical to evil, so fighting fire with fire, I suppose. But uh, check this out. This is his naked style, and uh, actually, let me turn him around. I like the guns. You know, he's got the little weaponry. He's got, I suppose, a major cannon right here, and then he has these down here. So he's got six, bla five blasters. I'm sorry. Well, I guess that no, never mind. Five blasters. And I dig all the chrome. I'm digging the chrome. I'm digging pretty much everything about this character. His red uh, reflective chrome scheme and just killer on the articulation. Let me uh, get a better. So, anyways, let me uh, show you the character himself. Hopefully that's still uh, in some way decent focus. Sorry if it's not. So, here we have him um, standing up on his own. He does come with a set of fists, and as most of these micro men do, here we go, his alternate fists and his stand. And thank you, T-Biz, for... Uh, for clarifying and illuminating me to as to what this larger uh, pole is, or the the larger part peg, I'm sorry, of the sand. It is for the older micro acronauts. Um, so micronauts. So thank you, Tibas. Appreciate it, man. And um, so yeah, you can see the character. He's got nice joints, and he's not falling on his own. He's not too tight from what I've already articulated on him. But of course, let me go ahead and go through here as to uh, articulation. He's got uh, at, the, uh, at the ankles up and down, of course, and negative on the rotation. And you gotta be very careful with these figures. So at the knee, he uh, has great articulation, a center knee joint connecting the upper leg extremity to the lower leg extremity. So be careful when articulating. And he also has rotation at the upper thigh 
um, 360 degrees and of course superior articulation at the hips so you can see he can get just phenomenal leg kicks and he's also got the abdominal crunch and he's got the articulation at the abdominal lower abdominal region shoulders where his pecs, pectorials are, I mean, that's superior. That's some of the best articulation right there because you could really not only go around at the shoulders but also at the pectoral region and the head as well, 360 degrees. And uh, centerpiece for the upper arms connecting like the forearm and the bicep, tricep area and rotation at 360 uh, at the deltoid where it meets in with the bicep and uh, you also have the interchangeable arms. So this guy has got articulation um, crazy. I love that. And he's got the chrome head, of course, and he does look, let me see if I can get his a better picture of his face here. But there, you can see he's got a certain disposition on his face. So I think the architects of this character did really well, symbolically with the paint and the, the personality errors and him being tyrannical and the expression on his face. He looks like somebody that uh, would probably enjoy kicking your ass if you're evil. So I dig it. And look at that. Look at the shoulder and the chest pector uh, pectoral <coughs> armor. Excuse me. Really good on that. I, li I like this uh, type of paint. And then here he is um, at the back side. He's got a screw there. And uh, here's that shoulder articulation I was telling you about. And that's the DVD in the background. So yeah, it's, it's repetitive, that's all it does. So um, here's some detail on his uh, ship. And you can see that this is apparently the headpiece and chest piece for the massive machine or deity that it turns into. So, well, here's this. So, uh, let me go ahead and get him into his other modes. Okay, so here he is in his biotech mode. Now, this uh, dude is just decked out with armor that came off of his uh, machine force. And this is what's left of it. It's pretty much just the big, you know, chrome. And uh, what happens is, is that the laser cannon parts that went over uh, the edge of the cannons here, they were basically his staff. Put them together, you take various other parts, put shin guards on, and then you also put this chest piece, and then the shoulders. So he's decked out also on his back. As you can see, but he does lose a lot of uh, dexterity with all this armor. It's kind of clunky, so it does limit your posing, um, or it'll take more time to get him into various or certain certain uh, positions. So here, these two pieces they kind of protect the back. But this is a really cool figure. I like the armor, um, the staff, the menacing look, the total package, and then of course the other hand pieces. Now, you know, you could see here he, well actually, you know, that's pretty cool that he'll be more protected, but this is just a really cool figure. Here's a side shot. And see how he just stands up? without the stand. I, I like this guy a lot. This is really cool. All right, well, you know, that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave, you know, a few photos at the end of this so you can just see him in other uh, poses and whatnot. But that's a really cool figure. Hey, and thanks for watching and uh, prepare yourself for more really cool toys that are going to be out and, you know, that I'm going to have out for reviews. And uh, thanks for watching again and take care.